Welcome to 2022, everybody. Great to be back. And there is so much to talk about. It's an election year. The election is getting going. It's not going to take very long that I can assure you. We have some good news to kick the year off with, including specifically that radical Republican um, uh, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has been banned permanently from Twitter. We will get to that a little bit later in the day. But we have to start with some words of caution. And we have now uh, heard from three military uh, retired military generals who are sounding the alarm and saying in 2024, it's not just a Republican coup that you have to worry about. You have to worry about a military coup. One of the reasons that Trump's coup attempt didn't work was that he's very incompetent, of course, and he did not have the military on his side. Now, there's no shortage of support for Trump in the military, but he didn't have the generals on his side. And what these three retired generals are pointing to is the possibility that that could be different in 2024. It doesn't necessarily have to be Trump, could be a different Republican. And they are now saying, uh, you got to be careful about this. Very good NPR article. Retired general warns the U.S. military could lead a coup after the 2024 election. And it says as the anniversary uh, an anniversary of the insurrection at the Capitol approaches, three retired generals are warning that another insurrection could occur after the 2024 presidential election and the military could instigate it. The generals, Paul Eaton, Antonio Taguba and Stephen Anderson, made their case in a Washington Post op ed quote. In short, we are chilled to our bones at the thought of a coup succeeding next time. Um, they have these are highlights from a conversation you can listen to, and I encourage you to do so. How could a coup play out in 2024? The real question is, does everybody understand who the duly elected president is? If that is not a clear cut understanding that can infect the rank and file or at any level in the U.S. military. And we saw it when 124 retired generals and admirals signed a letter contesting the 2020 election. We're concerned about that. We're interested in seeing mitigating measures applied to make sure the military is better prepared. This is a crucial point. We lucked out in a sense that Trump and his cronies were too incompetent and poorly organized to pull it off. And in addition, if it ever got to the point of actually getting the military involved, the officer class and the generals in the military weren't going for it. But there was this letter signed by retired generals and high ranking military officials that said, we don't believe the results. What happens if you see that within the power structures structures of the military? Is it likely? No. I mean, even they say, you know, when they're asked, how, how worried are you on a scale from one to ten? I see it as low probability, high impact. I hesitate to put a number on it, but we need to be prepared for it. In the military, we do a lot of war gaming to ferret out what might happen. You might have heard of the transition integrity project that occurred about six months before the last election. We had four scenarios. And what we did not play is a U.S. military compromised. So we advocate that that particular scenario be addressed in a future war game held well in advance of 2024. And that is a very good idea. The military has a ton of extremism in it. There are self study projects done. Uh, we've talked about some of them about extremism and radicalization in the military. There's a whole bunch of it right now. It is not common uh, prevalent among the top brass. It could change and imagine if it did. We know that there are these boogaloo and proud boy types in uniform talking openly about their involvement in the January 6th riots. It appears as though they're going to be punished. Let, let's hope that that happens. There were members of the military that participated as individuals on January 6th. And we know that this is a sort of feedback loop. Um, when I've gotten emails from members of the military who say, David, sir, uh, on base, there's one news channel that's ever on TV, and that channel is Fox News. Um, and so when we you know, over the last two months, I have been making a more concerted effort to say this isn't just ha ha. Look at these morons. 
in terms of the January 6th stuff, in terms of the it was stolen by Joe Biden stuff. It's yes, cartoonishly unhinged. And the world looks at it and says, how could these idiots believe this stuff? How what what has failed education, media, society? And the answer is yes, all of the above. Of course, it all has failed. But that doesn't mean we can just laugh it off. And I've been taking it significantly more seriously over the last couple of months. And this uh, uh, these interviews from these three retired generals should make all of us say we can't just write this off as kooks who could never get further than they got in 2020. They could get further. And one of the biggest components that would make that a plausible possibility would be the military actually really being on their side. So we're going to continue talking about it worth listening to the interview or at minimum uh, reading the article from NPR. We'll link to it in the description for the YouTube clip uh, for this story. One of our sponsors is Blinkist, who's been supporting The David Pakman Show longer than any other sponsor. Blinkist is the app that lets you listen to or read an entire nonfiction book in just 15 minutes. Blinkist is the way to absorb those books you can't make time for. Blinkist takes top nonfiction titles, pulls out the book's key takeaways and insights, and gives it to you in the form of a text or audio explainer that you can consume in 15 minutes. With Blinkist, now you actually do have time to learn about all the things you've been wanting to tackle. On the Blinkist app, I just listened to This Is Your Mind on Plants by the great Michael Pollan. Super interesting. The history of caffeine and so many other things. Blinkist has you covered on podcasts too. Blinkist takes long episodes of popular podcasts and distills them into audio you can listen to in 15 minutes. With Blinkist, you can become knowledgeable about so many different things. You can have conversations with people about more topics. Blinkist makes you more well rounded. Try Blinkist for free and get 25% off a subscription. Go to blinkist.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.